Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over the less command. This will be helpful for an upcoming video that's going to get into using the help system within Linux. It has the same functionality as the less command as far as searching and navigating the help files. So to get started, we do have other ways to read files aside from the less command. We can use the cat command to check out a file. So if we check out our host file, you see we have a short host file, but cat just dumps everything onto the command line. It reads the whole file at once and, and outputs it to the terminal. In this case, it's not really an issue because my host file is very short. We can use the less command and that will allow us to display a single page at a time and give us functionality that helps us navigate and search the document. So for example, if we check out our syslog file, we have one page at a time and we're able to actually scroll through this document. There's a couple different ways you can navigate. There's some, some um, keys that have the same function. I prefer to use Vim style and, and Vim is something we can get into in a future video. For me, that's the most efficient. But for example, we can scroll down through the document or forward with the J key. We can scroll up with K. We can use our arrow keys to scroll up and down. And then we also have the ability to specify a number with a lot of these navigational commands, such as if I wanted to go 10 lines forward, I could type 10 and then hit J and that would put me 10, 10 and hit K that would pull me back 10. So that can be helpful for jumping through the document. Um, one command that's also helpful is using the space bar. You can scroll forward one page at a time. You can press the B key to scroll back. And of course you can use the page up and page down keys with that. We also have the ability to jump to the end of the document and that would be shift G would take us all the way to the end. If we want to go to the beginning, it's a lowercase g and that takes us back to the beginning of the doc. We can also go to a specific line number with that. So for example, if I want to go to line 50, I can type 50 uppercase g. There's also other functionality that helps us with say source code files, scripts or config files where we need to match an opening brace or parenthesis or bracket. So for example here, we'll close out of here. Let's just take a look at our demo file. And if we're at the position at the top of our page here, and if we type an opening parenthesis here, it will actually move to the bottom of our screen, the match of the closing parenthesis. And that works with curly braces and square brackets. We also have the ability to search through a file. So for example, let's go ahead and take our look at the syslog file. And with a forward slash, I can type in my search term. Then I can hit enter and it finds the first match. And then a lowercase n will search forward for subsequent matches. And then an uppercase n will search back. We can also search in the reverse from our current position if we start our search with a question mark. So this is actually going to search backwards through the file. And if we use a lowercase n, we keep searching back. We can use an uppercase n to search in the opposite direction, searching forward. We can also use marks, which are helpful for jumping back and forth between two different points in a file or many different points in a file where we need to keep referring back to a place. So for example, let's search for, let's go back to the beginning here and let's search for a specific date in our file here. And also I just want to mention that you can use regular expressions in these searches. I'm not going to get into that. I'll save regular expressions for another video, but it is possible to use those in your searches. Okay, so we have our date here and we wanna search for things starting on 320. So here's our first date. Now say we wanna remember the spot, we can press M to set a mark and that's going to mark our first line. And then we can type in our name for this mark. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call it A. Then let's jump to the bottom of the file. And then if you press the single quote key, 
Then we can type in the name of our mark, in this case, A, and it will jump us back to this place in the file. You also use an uppercase M and that will use the last line of your screen as your marking point. So you can also mark items that way. And then if we want to get rid of our mark, we can press escape, lowercase M, then we type the name of the mark to clear it. And let's just jump to the beginning of our file. And then if I press a single quote character and I press A, there's no mark set. We also have the ability to run commands while reviewing a file with less. So we can do that by press, pressing the exclamation point. And then we can type in our command. So ls. And it drops us out of the document and actually shows us the results of that. And then we'll go ahead and go back to our file here. We can also open other files here. So for example, colon E. And then we can type the path to the file that we want to view. So for example, in And now we've opened this file. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, it says file two of two. So we could actually have multiple files open with less and we can navigate through them. I can enter colon. P for previous file or colon N to go to the next file. We can also launch less with command line arguments. So for example, go ahead and do a dash N will give us line numbers. Dash P is a pattern match. And we'll search for X80 Nix in Etsy pass WD. So, and now we have our line numbers and our matches here. And another thing, we can actually launch it with the mouse flag. Gives us the ability to scroll with our mouse wheel. And we can also set marks by clicking on the line. And then if we say jump to the bottom of our document, then press the single quote key to enter our mark. And this saves that as the hash. So hash will take us back to that point in the file. So that covers at least my use of less. That's that's typically how I use it. There's a lot actually you can do a lot more as far as the arguments you can pass to it and the shortcut keys and all kinds of functionality with it. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video. Thanks for watching.